Rockport's putting its money where its mouth is. A lot of people have heard about the $17 million distribution center. But not a lot of, a lot of people know is we're spending a million dollars in telecommunications. We're increasing our switchboard capacity. We're automating the where to buy function. We're adding 1-800-ROCKPORT. This isn't blue sky, it's a reality. And the excitement's building. We're on the brink of an explosion. If you're a secure, self-confident individual, you don't need anybody telling you what you need to do. You're not following any kind of fashion dictates. You're saying that, you know, I know what's right for me, and I'm quite capable of choosing products that fit with my lifestyle and, and complement who I am as a person. There are clothes that I wear that are almost my uniform, that are very durable, that make me feel good, that are very comfortable, because I do a lot of physical work. I move a lot. So I need clothes that suit that, that allow me to move. But to get away from it once in a while, I need to have fun clothes as well and things that just make me feel good and make me feel gorgeous. These are just great. I love these. The consumer is tired, I believe, of athletic shoes and the fashion around athletics. When they spend a dollar, they don't want to spend it on hype. They want to spend it on uh, true function and performance. Wow. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like the wing tip thing right here. Comfortable. It's something I wear to work. It's all really more about personal style now. The business has moved into the Rockport kind of footwear. Consumers want what Rockport has. The goal in 1995 is to make sure that we are aggressively selling in the spread of product, both male and female, in all the categories. What has to happen is that the product that consumers bump into when they see Rockport has to represent something new and different and fresh. So we've decided that retail presence is our number one priority. They're loving the store. They think it's a great look, it's a great environment. In terms of the product, they're very surprised by the full product line. And they're coming into the store and saying, wow, this is great. They really do have shoes that I'd wear. You just can't open the door and hope for the best and have the right product on the shelves. You've got to make people say, wow, I want to get in there. You walk up to a shoe wall, you know, there might be 200 shoes on the wall. What's going to draw your eye to the one that you want to buy? The product has to pay off what it is that that brand promises. Three feet from the wall. Any shoe with the sole, just to see what it's like, just to see how... They walk over to this wall and they say, wow, geez, Rockport makes all these shoes? I didn't know that. It brings them over and they want to touch things. So there is a next step beyond the visual representation of what the brand is supposed to deliver, is the tactile. Picking it up, is it soft? You know, is it light? And then you're likely to say, you know, I think I'll try this one on. They can be very soft. All they do when we come in and they spot a style they like is just try and get them to put it on the foot, see how comfortable it is. And nine times out of ten, they'll go out wearing it. We have had such success with, with a younger client with, um, without losing our, our regular target Rockport customer that we've had for years and years. We are gaining in areas that we didn't anticipate. If the consumer sees it, uh, feels it, puts it on, they're going to purchase it and vote for it and walk out the store with the product. Well, I think it, it shows in the numbers and it's just been a great response. Take a look at where our women's business is going. And right now, we're looking at growth rates in 94 of about 35%. For 95, as for about 50%. I think the message that's really important is that this is not just another shoe brand. It's not just a hiking boot. It's not just a boat shoe. It's not just a dress shoe. This is a product and a brand that can 
really cater for almost any kind of lifestyle. Jeans and rock puts, um, very casual, very fashionable and very comfortable for wearing. We do a lot of walking. Um, we tend to try and get out once a day. The whole concept of walking is at the core of everything that we do. No matter what kind of product we make, it's ideal for walking and it takes the consumer any place that they want to go. I can just see myself already out there, slogging through some marshy uh, area, trying to get to a nice stream. It's like having a tool on your feet to get you where you want to go. It's really the heritage and the foundation of, of where Rockport began. And any product that you buy, whether it's going to be a men's dress shoe or a, a woman's casual shoe, you know that you can put that shoe on and, and walk in it no matter where you, where you want to go. My belief is, and I think everyone who is involved with this company knows this is true, if we put more Rockport in front of more consumers, they will buy more Rockport. This is the type of boot that I have. I can't believe how light they are. I'd wear this shoe with just about every piece of clothing I own. I like the style. The styling? I love it. This is my favorite. It suits me really well. It's kind of uh, footwear that you know you're going to have for about 10 years. You know, your girlfriend or your wife is going to just say, you got to get rid of it, you got to get rid of it, and, and you just won't. You, you know you're kind of making a commitment to your, your shoe here. If in every retail store we had twice as much Rockport available, I'll bet you they'd buy twice as much Rockport.